guys, today I'm going to talk about modern and whether or not you should pick up some modern cards right now. I would warn you to pick up anything from Innistrad and sooner. So that would include Liliana of the Veil, vale, Snapcaster Maids. These cards are much are very likely to be reprints as well as Cavern of Souls because they are expensive and the fact that when they were making this product, they knew these cards were the cards they needed to reprint to reduce the price. Modern Masters 2017 comes out very soon. I would advise you, unless you can pick up a collection for a very good deal, or you need something to make a playset, and you feel like you're going to play Modern before March 17th, I would even say early March is when, spoil, when cards become spoiled, and you don't actually need a card to go out in circulation. As soon as the card is announced that it will be reprinted, it will tank the price automatically. So Modern Masters 2017 is 249 cards. is being released March 17th. It's going to be English, Chinese, Simplified, Japanese. The MSRP is $9.99 a pack. And there will be a foil card in every single pack. So very similar to other Modern Masters in the past. I'm going to make a bold prediction. My bold prediction is this. I feel like Modern Masters 2017 will be printed far more than Modern Masters 2 or 1 or even Eternal Masters. Because it will sell. And at that point in time, A4 Revolt comes out January. Winter time is a very slow time for Magic. And given what Hasbro wants Wizards of the Coast to do, is every month they got to generate even more revenue than previous month. Having a limited set for Modern Master 2017 when people are willing to pay $10. Like it only costs Wizards of the Coast, it doesn't cost any design for them to do it. They're not hiring designers to make new cards for the set they're not hiring creative people they're not i mean some of it will have new artwork but large of it large majority of the cards will not the profitability on modern masters 2017 is insane probably it cost them i would guess 10 cents to make a pack to produce a pack and they can sell it for ten dollars now the question is how many packs can you sell and 2016 has been the year where wizard of the coast has enough data and they have data on Conspiracy 2 that did very well. They have data on Eternal Masters, Eternal Masters Reprint. They have data on um, Anthologies, Dual Decks, the new you know Introduction Decks or the Chandra and Nissa. They're going to make a good decision on this one. I think it is in their benefit as well as in the player's benefit for us not to have a as limited run it's still going to be a limited run, not like Commander or not like uh, Commander 2016 or Conspiracy 2, but I expect it to be much, much higher than anything we've seen from Eternal Masters or uh, Modern Masters 1 or 2. Anyway, bye guys.